97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always.
Mr. Speaker, may I now proceed to present summaries of other key elements of the 2013 budget, particularly those in sectors that are aimed at sustaining confidence in the future of the dynamic economy, which is the theme of this year's budget. The global economic developments, Mr. Speaker, remain susceptible, the environment remains susceptible to further downturns, following four years of weak and uneven recovery from the global financial crisis. This stem mainly from the Libyan Euro zone crisis and challenges from the US fiscal crisis and slowdown in the major country economy. I have already enumerated the slow rates of growth in advanced developing and emerging countries. Mr. Speaker, as noted, the world fiscal and financial sector challenges in managing the economy in 2012. Nonetheless, the economy posed some significant processes as will be nominated in the macroeconomic performance for 2012, which I'm about to present. For the real sector, Mr. Speaker, provisional estimates released by the Ghana Statistical Service in September 2012 indicate that real output grew by 7.1%. The breakdown shows that growth in the oil sector was negative, which implies that virtually the, the virtually non-oil growth rate of 7.1% was robust, since it was calculated, also calculated on the data base. Indeed, when the 2012 GDP estimates are updated by the end of April, with the pickup in oil meetings at the end of the last quarter, that we expect the economy to have achieved rates of growth of about 8.5 to 9% at the end of the day. The domestic tax efforts, as measured by the tax to GDP ratio, non-oil, and excluding exemptions, improved from 15.1% in 2011 to 16% in 2012. The tax to GDP ratio, including oil, but again excluding exemptions, increased from 15.4% in 2011 to 16.3% in 2012. Mr. Speaker, while commending this strong growth effort, the country needs to sustain revenue mobilization efforts to meet its infrastructure needs, contribute to fiscal consolidation, and reach the performance level of middle-income, lower middle-income countries. Therefore, the focus on revenue generation in 2013 is to expand the tax base, improve the efficiency of tax administration, and revamp the country's direct and indirect tax laws. The Customs Excise and Preventive Service, the Internal Revenue Service, and the VAT Service were reorganized into one business unit under the Ghana Revenue Authority. The ongoing reforms will ultimately lead to some of the efficiency gains and remove duplication of functions. The Ministry of Finance will continue to support the GRA reorganization efforts, which is intended to improve synergies and efficiencies. It will also strengthen the tax policy rules within the Ministry of Finance. Mr. Speaker, there is a need to consolidate and harmonize all the various tax laws. During the year, the following proposed new and replacement laws will be tabled before this House as bills. The Revenue Administration Bill, which is a new bill to support the GIA integration efforts. The Value Added Tax Bill, which will replace the 1998 enactments under the same bill. The New Income Tax Bill, to replace the 2000 enactments. The Customs Bill to replace the very old Customs Excise and Preventive Service Enactment and, and a new Excise Bill to separate a substantive, that substantive tax regime from the VAT and Customs Enactments and Bills. Mr. Speaker, the following are some further tax proposals for the year 2013. Personal income tax release and bars. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to use the personal income tax regime to achieve equity, redistribute incomes, 
generate revenue and support our social intervention programs by protecting low, low income earners from the value of taxation. We are proposing an adjustment in the tax balance to take account of inflation, the impact of increases in real GDP on personal incomes, and the support for our social intervention programs. To this end, we propose that the annual income tax exempt threshold should be increased from 1,440 per annum to 1,584 Ghana cities per annum to complement the other adjustments that we will put before this. We are fashioning and we continue to fashion pragmatic policies to correct imbalances that threaten our economic aspirations while staying a firm for our attracted sizable investments which we are channeling in particular to infrastructure development. The city, the value of the city against major currencies has stabilized. physical infrastructure has remained unparalleled. We need to maintain these economic successes through appropriate policy responses to address challenges that will confront our foreign markets. At the same time, the administration of His Excellency President John Dramani Mahama will remain faithful to the NDC's philosophy of social democracy and continue with well-targeted social intervention programs for the benefit of all the people of Ghana. Indeed, the Better Ghana Agenda continues to be advanced on our business.